In this video, we're going to talk about Marked for Death. She spawns fight to survive against an old foe, and he's coming in, and he's coming in with the appetite because he wants her back. You'll see what I mean by the end of this video. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of The Scorched. Issue number 28, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in The Scorched, after the loss of their powers, the Scorched have decided to stay in the fight. And because obviously the events of Spawn 350 where the dead zones are enveloped all around the world, all hell spawns have lost their power except for a hunt. Which we'll, we touched on that but we'll go more into that later. So now we talk about Jason Wynn. He served heaven, he served hell. Talk about when he used to be the redeemer back in Spawn issue number 16. But he's always been the most effective when he serves himself. And now Jason Wynn is back in his element. Having recently been named director of the newly reactivated agency. A covert government organization devoted to the eradication of supernatural threats. And now he has limitless government resources and budgets. And he's ready to go after his enemies. And this brother has a lot of enemies. But one of them being is the hell spawns right now and that's what brings him here today so right now in the lower sub basement laboratory of a top secret agency black site solely devoted to the development of cutting-edge high-tech weaponry whoo that was a mouthful overkill was one such weapon a living killing machine and miracle of modern cybernetics technologies fused with flesh and overkills like Jason when you don't want to do this why are you doing this to me and the last time I remember overkill being you know <laughs> being taken apart taken down like that was by monolith in i believe in spawn issue number 313 but now that he's scooped up by the agency after a recent defeat overkill had been repaired and rebuilt multiple times in the past but this time jason Wynn has decided to do something different and we will find out what that different is going to be so director lynn goes up to jason Wynn and is like all right well here's your 11 o'clock briefing i gather the information requested on the scorch and overkill's like bro don't you dare walk away from me and Jason wins not even a bad now. He's walking away. But Director Lin is like, I can't stand, bruh. That's creepy. So Jason wins like, don't worry about it. It's classified. But we finally found a way to make him useful. So what's with the report you got? So Director Lin tells Jason Wynn that, you know, the data that we analyzed, the bio information collected in Paris, that's referencing the Scorch at number 27, she spawned Redeemer. They're completely depowered. While Medieval spawn, well, they're still missing. He's still missing. They can't find him. So Jason Wynn concludes that Han is the only member with actual powers so he wants her to check with him on a related issue or more like a related asset so when they go in it's a female haunt and she asks him that's what is that what it is oh yes jason Wynn says a female specimen we acquired this specimen years ago but since my return i put the r d research and development department boys back to work finding a way to weaponize this one against the other in truth it's just a means to an end the agency's charter is to go after supernatural threats but honestly i don't give a damn about these beings all right it's just a caprice i want and Jessica Caprice was one of Jason Wynn's best operative. In a new story of Spawn, especially in King Spawn issue number five, it was established that Jessica Caprice was the one that assassinated Al Simmons, later turning him into Spawn per Jason Wynn's order. So Jason Wynn gets handed a file called Operation Mousetrap, and he thanks his agent. And so Jason Wynn tells Director Lynn that with the right leverage, he can get Jessica Caprice under his thumb again. She killed for me before, and she can do it again. So Director Lynn is like, what do you need me to do? alert me when this operation is fully underway so another guy comes in and tells jason win that they have the latest from the cybernetics division so win moves on into the next scheme so we see mark haunt and redeemer on the telecom and mark is telling him like hey all right get ready get going but you know i'm watching the news and this news is spewing lies on you guys making you guys seem like a bunch of maniacs so you have to stop being so damn public when you guys do these missions all right causing explosions making a show it's making the media go in the frenzy so she spawn on base tells mark is like you know what it's counterintelligence media manipulation all right it's straight out of the agency's playbook so what have you found out about them says she spawn and mark tells him well their digital footprints have all been scrubbed from the internet kilgore's old agency access codes are getting them nowhere so keep in mind with hunt he's merged in by ectoplasm with daniel and kurt kilgore kurt kilgore has been dead since hunt issue number one by the agency well, not really by the agency, but on a mission that he did for the agency that got him killed. So the thing is, the only sign of anything relating to the agency is in that building, says Mark. Be warned, though. It'll have the info we need, 
but it'll be heavily guarded. And Jessica Priest is like, man, we'll get past that. No sweat, all drip. And there's satisfaction in taking the initiative, fighting back after multiple attempts on their lives. The Scorch know the agency is behind the attacks on them but they don't know why or who's given the orders. That's what they're gonna find out. So she spawns like, we're in Redeemer, you're up. Now you gotta do your thing. And Redeemer's like, say less, copy that. Transformer is out of commission. And Mark Rosen's like, okay, well their backup power kicks in in 20 seconds. So whatever you're about to do, you better do that thing quick. And do it quick they shall. They move in silence, causing chaos, anarchy, Blood, guts, spilling everywhere like an all-you-could-drip buffet, bloody style. Giving their adversaries no chance to find their bearings. The assumption was superior numbers and firepower would give these soldiers the advantage. A fatal error, that ain't gonna happen. Nah, bruh. Fortunately for them, death came quickly. 14 seconds, that's all it took. <laughs> I mean, in the comment, not, not on high school prom night kind of thing. But anyways, so Mark Rosen tells him, all right, Squirts, heads up. The alarm tripped when their backup power came on. You've got three minutes to clear out before more heavily armed reinforcements arrive. And Jessica Priest is like, we'll grab and go and we'll get up out of here. I'm just downloading the agency's intel, including who gave the order on us. And over the telecom, Jason wins like Agent Priest. I have thought that I would have been more obvious to you by now, but surely you haven't forgotten about me, haven't you? And Jessica Priest is like, oh, heck to the nah. Or you can call me boss, all right, says Jason Wynn. I know you're powerless, so I'm offering you a chance to do what you do best. Serve me as an operative. Cheese Ball's like, nah, bruh, stop the cap. That ain't gonna happen. You left a trail for us to find you. You wanted to draw us here, huh? Smart girl, Jessica, you've always been. So you know, I'm not offering you this by choice in this matter, all right? You're gonna do this. And before he can conclude his sentence, she concludes it for him by firing her firearm. Nah, says Jessica Priest, never again. All Jason Wynn can do is like, okay, well not a surprising reaction and so be it. So he detonates the bomb and it goes off in that very room that she spawned Redeemer and Hot Stand in. And Jason Wynn's like, obviously Miss Priest spent too much time around Al Simmons. They're both too headstrong for their own good. Sir, says Director Lynn, we're getting CCTV footage from the outside the server warehouse and the explosion, it didn't kill him. Hot protected them. And Jason Wynn's like, well, I didn't expect it to. But now she knows it's me. Jessica will be really pissed off, and that's what I want. And Director Lynn's like, Mr. Director, is that a good idea? Won't they just be better prepared the next time you come for them? Oh, we're done going after the score, says Jason Wynn. You see, I know Jessica Priest and her temperament. I don't need to chase her because she'll come to me. It's why I've been planning, Miss Lynn, working to find a better use for overkill. And that use is this. They activate the overkill killers. You see, when the Scorch attempt to come at me with all that smoke, I got some heat for all that. We're gonna be fully ready for them. And that is Operation Mousetrap, or that case file that he was handed to earlier. And that is the end of this issue of The Scorch. Issue number 28, marked for death, she spawned fight to survive. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other rated comics exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee, so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.